We're gonna change out this this rainer plug in the kitchen. And I often wonder how can the snow exist? You know, it's like 2012 and there's not GFCIs on the kitchen counters. But it snow exists, so we're gonna go ahead and change it out. And we're also going to change that switch out so it matches the new plug. Now, of course, I confirmed that the power is off because I shut the whole, the whole house down. So we have no power. And I'm going to go ahead and take out our plug. And we'll see how the plug is wired up and see if there's anything else on that. Okay, I'll pull the plug out. Alright, we just have two wires going to our plug, which is good. Now on our GFCI, we have a line and a load. The line is going in, the load is going out. We have nothing going on. We only have two wires that are going in. So we're going to hook up our two wires to the line and there'll be nothing on the load. Because there is no load on that plug. And a load would be something powered from the plug out to, say, a light or an additional plugger. So let's go ahead and replace it. Okay, we, this should be fairly straightforward. I also pulled my switch out. <coughs> now, it is clear which one's the light in the way. Well, you can test that before you take it apart, so you know which one's the light and which one's the black before you get started. Alright, on these wires, I'm going to straighten these out. And then I'm going to cut a little bit off. On the TFCIs, I like using the side connectors. And you screw that in, and it tightens down on it. It's not a stab connector. Those aren't very good. And I'll just take a little bit off of them. And on the back of your GFCI, if you have a load that you do not want to be GFCI protected, you'll just put your two wires, one in there and one in there. And whatever's down the road from the GFCI will not be protected. So say you have something you don't want to shut off if the GFCI trips, like your range or um, hopefully you don't have a refrigerator on it, but you do. Know, it will not trip if you uh, connect one in here and one in here. If you connect anything to the bottom, that will trip from your GFCI if it goes off. And we know that the main slot is the white wire. And we'll tighten that down. And we know that the little slot is the black wire. Yeah. Okay, our GFCI is now in. Next, we're going to move on to the plug, I mean the switch. In the switch, it's power in, power out. There is no 
really too much fingering on that. It's kind of a switch is a cut in your power most of the time. Sometimes you'll see where they'll use a switch in the, the white wire to make a, a light work. Most of the time it's power in, power out. And this one's a fairly easy This is one to change. Normally they're full wires and now on this one I'm going to use a switch. Alright, I'm going to hook the switch up and once again you, you want to orient your switch so off is off and on is on and you don't have a switch that says no and an upside on huh? And the next thing we'll do after this is put it all back together, turn the power on, and we'll be in good shape here. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, screw all this back into the moss. And we want to make sure everything touches the way it should. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and screw them all back in, and we'll be back. Everything's back together. I seen the pick up uh, a new cover, but that was our switch and GFC changeup. Our GFC iWorks. You can test it. Reset it. And there you have it.